the stealth camping adventure has begun. You can see. Say, say it one more time next to the park ranger. <laughs> There's no park rangers. Healthy. My my friend has a nice camouflage hat on to help the cause. <laughs> Nobody's gonna see me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are heading into the woods now, and you can see that this is a wilderness area. You're uh, supposed to get the hell out before 8:30, but obviously that's not in the cards for us. Over there, there's like a sign-in station where you can sort of record your name and all that stuff. I don't think that's a very good idea, given the stealthiness of the mission. Make the noise, keep the children, never feed or approach the bears. Zero kilometers. Very nice. So this part of the trail is uh, very busy, actually. There's uh, a lot of day hikers here. Uh, and if you follow the trail all along for I think about eight or nine kilometers, you get to a waterfall. Uh, that's not where we're going. We're going to attempt to cross the river and get to a sort of less busy area. Uh, this is the river that we're later going to cross. Uh, right now we're on the hiking trail, sort of going in a northerly direction. Eventually, a few kilometers in, we're going to reach a point where we want to go down, cross over that river, get to the other side, and Hopefully to beautiful, quiet, natural privacy. Hello. We've entered the enchanted forest. <laughs> We're just getting ready to cross the river now. We think we found a pretty good place to do it. Uh, I think up there looks pretty good. We're sort of on kind of an island right now, uh, but there looks like there's a lot of rocks up there, um, so it should be fairly easy to pass. I don't know, it's possible to be cold and sweaty at the same time, but I managed to accomplish it. I think we have some sort of a Bigfoot sighting here. I see something in the trees. It's pretty beautiful here. Nice and quiet. Uh, you got the river just over there. We moved back from the river maybe another 50 meters or so. Because we, I did see a couple people walking over there. Um, I have to say, it's kind of a tough decision actually. Because I do like this site much better over close to the river. I feel like I can see something there. It's less claustrophobic than over there in the bushes, but uh, there's obviously a higher risk of being sighted here. So it's kind of decision time, but you know what? I'm leaning more towards camping here, honestly. Like it's nice and flat, feels it's nice and open. I just feel much better psychologically right here. Um, back where I just was. It's kind of a lot of foliage along the ground. It's, you can see it gets more wild back there. So I just don't like it as much, you know. I came all the way here to have a good time. Obviously I don't want to get caught, but uh, you can see that uh, site selection is obviously a prickly matter uh, when it comes to stealth camping. You know, you have to make sure that you have a place that is stealthy enough, but also somewhere that you're going to enjoy being, right? So here's the deal. On the other side, it's about a four to five kilometer hike one way to get to a waterfall uh, along a northerly hiking trail. Uh, what we've done is we crossed the river uh, over to the west side of the river. Um, so I would say that we are maybe 300 meters away from a hiking trail at the least. Um, you know, people are bouncing back. They're not all the way at the waterfall yet, so we didn't go all the way. We went, so the people who are coming back and passing this direction, They've been hiking for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. You know, are they really gonna care if they think they see a tent across in the river? Like nobody's gonna come across here to look. Um, you know, by the time they get back to the parking lot, are they gonna be energetic enough to go find somebody and tell them? <laughs> like, I don't think so. I, I don't think anybody's gonna care, honestly. You know what? I've made the executive decision. I'm gonna set up my tent over here because I'm here to have a happy time. It's easier to get down to the water right there. Um, I don't want to sleep back there in the woods with a bunch of plants around me. Well, there's plants here too, but not as many. 